Getting legend levels in Dying Light 2 can be a pain sometimes. In this video, there will be two legend farms, one being more combat oriented and the second being more focused on the parkour. Unfortunately, for the first one, you will need the Bloody Ties DLC, but for the second one, you will just need the central loop unlocked. But if you're looking for legend levels, that should already be unlocked. At the time of recording, the first community update will be coming out the next day, so this may be patched very quickly. To start off with the first legend farm, you will need to travel to Carnage Hall here it is on the map because honestly I couldn't find it but you will need the Benu Hakim blood vial to jump up onto the ledge here and as you jump up on this part you will need to crouch and then double jump and then swing all at once this can be tricky but you'll get it eventually this will propel you up very high to which you will then need to paraglide down to this area and then you're home free run along down to the area with all of these cars bunched together and then throw some grenades or anything that'll make some noise that will spawn in some volatiles then here you will need to acquire a level 4 chase and at Carnage Hall, the nights are much longer, so you can farm these volatiles for like over an hour. But be sure to have the proper boosters and everything to make sure you stay alive because while they don't move, I have run into trouble quite a few times of them just all ganging up on me out of nowhere. With this legend farm, you can easily hit over 150,000 legend XP per night. Just so you know, this farm is superior to the second one, but not everyone has the DLC. Now onto the second farm. Here you will need to travel to this part of the map. And then once you're here, you'll also need to acquire a level 4 chase. This is because of the XP multiplier you get with it. After getting the level 4 chase, you will need to travel up to this rooftop and then paraglide back and forth. With this method, I recommend you wear the gear that will give you parkour XP, and I don't know if that gives you any of them will give you more XP more specifically at night, but whatever you can do for that extra little boost. And the same goes for the first method. If you have any gear that will give you combat XP, that will also help you out. As of right now, there isn't any glitch that you can do like what you could do in the first game with the bolter tissues, so the best we have are these farms. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps you level up faster, and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I want to hit 500 subscribers by the end of November.